A beautiful spring day again. It's just nice to see all the weather is changing and becoming all lovely. Sally's lying outside. I don't know if you can see her, but she's right outside the door sleeping there. So yeah, I want to go and check the mail. I feel a little bit better today. I slept in long because I didn't get to bed till about 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, another one of those nights where my body just feel irritated and I can't go, can't get rest. And ugh, so irritating, really is. So I totally cleaned this little beauty last night and wow, <laughs> this is only by using a toothbrush guys and it actually looks very very nice and clean, uh, yeah. So that is very exciting, um, but I also have been looking for a new, um, what's it called, a new uh, soda saver as I mentioned yesterday, um, but I haven't found one yet so that uh, will have to wait a little bit. <laughs> last night I just had something like an itch on my arm. And I look down here, you guys can see that, it looks like a mosquito bite probably, uh, I don't know if you can see it. But, um, it isn't a mosquito bite, it's like one of the normal, like a freckle or something like that, like a, some of these brown spots you have around your body sometimes, um, like a mole or whatever, a mold. Um, but, um, it started itching last night and I just like squeezed and it started bleeding a bit. And people have said that you've got to be aware of that sort of thing and check up um, just of the thought of maybe that could be skin cancer. So I will book a, an appointment and go and check with my doctor because I just really want to um, have that checked up. I think it's important to be aware of that sort of thing. I mean, I, don't, I know I'm not very much in the sun, but um, who knows? <laughs> Better make sure. So um, I don't know if it might be just a spot who happened to come right on top of my my like freckle or whatever it is but I bet I go and have it checked no need for alarm yet <laughs> all right I will uh, catch you guys uh, a little bit later it's time for me to edit before I go to skate park all right so as promised yesterday I want to show you how to um, sort this drone out in case it gets like uh, unstable and it like takes off in another direction than you want it to um, so let me just um, get this out eh, come here and get the remote there we go. <clears throat> All right, let's put this aside. So, um, if you get a drone and let's say you put it on a flat surface and you start it up like so, here you can see the lights come on, like there. So, uh, then it believes in a flat surface and it's fine. So you put on the remote, like so, and just prepare it. And if I try and give a little go, I better put you guys somewhere over here. I try to give a little bit of throttle now, it should, just, it should take straight off. And it does. Alright, so let's say if it has been started on a slanted um, thing. Let's say if I put it like on here, so it's leaning, and I put it on. And connect it with the remote. Alright, and then I put it down. Now it should actually fly to the side. I'm only pressing up. If I take off now, it should like fly to one side. See? And I believe that it's like... It won't take straight off. So, what you do is you take your remote and normally it will be fully uh, lighting. Mine is flashing because it's not too much battery on. But if you look at these two lights over here when I do this maneuver on the keyboard or the joypad, you will see that those two lights are blinking a bit, that's because it's calibrating. So what you need to do is to take the left one and pull it over to the left corner. The right one you press up and into the right corner uh, above, like, oh, sorry, left corner. So up and left, look at lights. See the flashing? And they go back to normal. Then you can let go, and then you can one more time try and align it. So now you've calibrated the gyro, so it should take up straight up now when I just press this here. And it does, so uh, that's perfect. And then you're ready to fly. Oh, it tickled my finger. <laughs> uh, it's low on battery, so I can't fly anymore, so I need to charge it. So but that was just um, a little about how calibrating it. So yeah, I hope you guys can use that. So that's a cheers on uh, CX-10 calibration. I've been to Skate today. 
didn't feel anything really out there. My knees are not very good. I think I need to go and have a check with my doctor what my knees are like that bad. Um, for some of you guys know that I got arthritis, sorry not, I got psoriasis, which is a skin condition, which makes your skin in some areas grow much quicker than normal. And because of that, you get like, um, like uh, rashes and itches and stuff like that. And um, then um, that can sometimes develop about to psoriasis, arthritis which gives you sore joints and stuff and that's what I feared my guy because my elbow is sore, both my knees are sore, my foot is sore so I need to go and have some blood samples taken really a really crazy day talking about diseases am I? yeah I know <laughs> um, but as mentioned I haven't really done much besides being to skate park where I didn't do anything really I didn't really feel in the mood because I've been to skate park but Saturday, Sunday and then today Monday so I'm looking forward to tomorrow not having a day in the skate park really Oh, a little break, it's gonna be nice. Uh, so, yeah, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video with all the RC stuff, and uh, it was a lot of fun to film it, definitely. Um, I wish to film some more, but I was also taking part in the fun by um, trying one of the cars and stuff like that, and also getting my own little OC running um, and figuring out uh, how to put that together and stuff. So, yeah, really. Um, Really trying to figure out um, when I'm gonna make that GoFundMe video. I'm waiting for two clips which I had from the guy with the drone you filmed. Um, he filmed some clips for me I can use in that video to show how the skate park looks and all that, and that's really cool. So, thank you to uh, you, Benjamin, for doing that. If, I don't think you watch this, but uh, if you should, however, see it, uh, thank you. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is gonna be a short video today, guys. I'm really just knackered. I want to go and have a shower, go to bed. It's like one o'clock, one twenty, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay awesome, epic. Love you guys. Peace. Oh, and uh, sorry, forgot one thing just before I did the snap. Uh, for the winners, uh, go onto Facebook if you have a Facebook, and then write me a private message um, on my icily. Um, uh, page you just go to Facebook and search as silly you should find my page and you can write me there with your name and address um, and as mentioned before write it as you see it on an envelope when you get mail so that I know that's how I'm gonna put it on the actual label so see if it out to you um, and then when I uh, will eventually in a couple of days I will see how much money I got and I can ship them all out for you guys so yeah all right um, I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow see you peace bad there we go